Brother J. We got a chance to go ahead and give y'all a special episode of the Pop Up Podcast. And we spoke to a few contestants of the Baddies Collection Olympics. They didn't have much great things to say about their experience. Um, they really wanted to get everything off their chest. Real passionate about getting their experience understood and heard by everyone. So we had a chance to speak with them. Y'all go check it out. Leave in the comments down below what y'all think, how y'all think, or who y'all think is right or wrong or whatever it is. And um, let's see what's up, man. Bow. Okay, okay. And, and this happened when? This happened yesterday or over the weekend? Um, It was Sunday. It happened Sunday. This past yeah. Sunday. First. Got you. <laughs> they were treating us like pretty bad, like talking to us crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, it was a security, rather, in production. Because people get to you there. there. Is that what it's saying? Yeah. They um, basically was. Right, right. Most security guards security and production. And they were like very rude to us. This we is not big for hours. Us. They had people buying COVID tests. People had to leave. But the COVID test was what fifty dollars. I ain't gonna be able to get fifty dollars password. And, um, did you have to um did you have to do the COVID test to, to be able to audition? Yeah, it yes. so the thing yeah. with the COVID test is I guess some of the women have received emails saying that you were supposed to have a COVID test, but not everybody received those emails. Oh. So when we get there, some people spent like mad ready yeah. to get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, true. We pull up and they're like, if you don't have a 48 hour uh, I did COVID get a test in the last 48 hours, then you got to get the fuck. And, the, and and that's like straight like that. Like, you got to get the fuck. Like, they was on that. So everyone's like panicking. Like, oh, shit, they didn't inform us. It's no it's no problem getting the COVID test, but y'all didn't make that a requirement. They had right. a list of things that we needed to do and bring. So it's that wasn't on there. So everyone's <laughs> scrambling, trying to get a COVID test. And we in line for hours. Because like, I would. Like, hours. And I'm mad to Clay. It just wasn't what everybody thought it was gonna be. Like, so you trying to say it was more of an under, like, like just real unprofessional route. Right. Like. Yeah, it, it was unprofessional as hell. It was unorganized, and they very were very, very disrespectful, very like about fun. simple, like little things. It was kind of, it was off to me, but you know, I was still like had very. expectations that were a little oh, bit man. higher than what it was. B words, oh, 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 but how did? They told us couldn't use the room until we got inside the building. They told us that we couldn't get no water until we got inside the building. They picked and chose who was able to get water. The one girl came on my live and said they gave her water when she was outside. She had multiple bottles. I said, well, I was told specifically no. I couldn't get a bottle of water until I, I get it to the building. Yeah. So good good thing that you got water, but it's a girl who had a seizure. I didn't even know, know that. I didn't know that. Either. Yeah, somebody had a seizure. And the girl put in the How many? She had a seizure? She put I, the, the, the receipts in my, in my story on Instagram. I put every single receipt in my story. I'm not lying about nothing. Sure. Seizure must I said, honey, voodoo is a religion. Let's not be disrespectful. Yeah. Let's not be disrespectful about people's religions. For one, for two, you didn't have any water. You were standing outside in Atlanta heat for three hours with no water. Of course you want to have a seizure. I'm a damn nurse. I know for sure people was hot and dehydrated. Oh, the crazy thing is they were taking people's water. I thought she wanted daddy. They were taking everybody's established. water because they said no liquid. So everyone's throwing out right. shit. It, it was just it just didn't make why sense. Why couldn't you? Why crazy. couldn't you have liquids? They was like making up things that you go. I feel like they was just trying to like. It, okay. you can't bring none inside the building. Okay, was okay. So I, I was just about to ask: Was it a part of like the challenges that they were putting apart? No. Apparently, it's like a, a Olympics type yeah, thing. That was not the challenge. I don't think I. Did. No, that wasn't part of the challenge. Okay, okay, okay. But if they, they had a feet, they had a feet challenge during the Olympics. No. Did that sound like some Olympics to you? A feet challenge. A feet challenge. They like. had a feet. Wait, these Did part, that sound like a part Olympics that happened, to you? The part that happened, no. happened was before when we had our COVID test when we had to give her our information, like our email. This is when this was. We were waiting in line to give the girl our email. 
confirmation and our COVID confirmation. Yeah. This is when all this was going on. So we were not able, they told us anybody who you were out there, you could not go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I literally was standing inside when security came out the door and he said, lock this door. Nobody else is coming back here to use the bathroom but the people who get chosen. This, we are getting confused. People are going too much. They're not going back there. So what about the people who standing outside? There's not even a porter potty out there. They told us to catch Ubers. Where were we going to use the bathroom? Yeah. Where were we going to go get water? Was they told us to. Like... They came outside with bottles of water and told us specifically, not for us, it's for security. We can't get water until we go inside. And they only gave us a bottle. Before <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh, but do they have like really a like, um, do they have like an inside or something? It was like, a shit who show. Was, who was supposed basically, to be in charge of like the whole thing? Who was so like one person? We that saw was the, I, the way that they made it seem was like Big Lex was gonna be there oh. to choose the girl. She was gonna be a part of it. We never got to see Big Lex until like there? the end. So everyone's confused, and we're standing. So after we get past registration and the no bathrooms and the no water, we go inside and then there's a line. And the girls, they pair everybody up in twos like we finna do a challenge against each other. Which and then, give one bottle of water for you to share. Yeah. yeah. Well, you I get on stage. Say, water to share with a shrink. I don't even know. They gave, they gave females one bottle of water to share amongst each other. Yeah. So after so, like, that, we go inside out there. And get on stage. Were they doing work it for were they, ten were they, seconds? Were there girls doing it, like sharing sharing the water? Yeah, you were hot as hell. You better get you some water. Some who was friends, they was friends. People was thirsty. They were standing outside for three hours in the sun. Yeah. No shade. We, we didn't have no canopies. How I... long? Um... When we first got there, it was like three hundred. Probably like three, probably like four hundred plus girls out there, Whoa. and we were standing in a long line, and it was hot in Atlanta. Like the weather that day was like eighty nine, and then we standing out there the hottest part of the day. So from like ten thirty in the morning, people had been standing out there, and I actually didn't make it to the stage till almost three o'clock. Wow! So that yeah. lets you know how long I was standing out there, yeah. and they specifically said in the email come looking like the baddie you are or you will be sent home so yeah. then when we in line and everybody like trying to take their COVID test trying to sign a waivers and things like that you know just talking to each other you know trying to you know network or whatever like that and um they come on the mic and they like okay no streetwear but you see girls going in here with fucking leggings and a t-shirt and tennis shoes on but you just said no streetwear so I thought that I was under the impression that yes. you're going to looking like a yes. bad bitch, like oh. dress, hair, makeup, all that shit, heels, everything. I didn't think it was going to be any tennis shoes or anything mm -hmm. like that. So that when we cool. got inside the building, they come back and say, okay, well, you don't have like to this. twerk in your heels. Now, mm -hmm. keep in mind, we didn't know that we was going to have to twerk in order to be able to compete. To even get a shoes. chance. They never, that. they never advertised that. She, Big Legs never did that at all. <laughs> And who's the judges? Who's mm -hmm. like who's judging? Production, those? like random yeah, production. Yeah, so, production. so Big Lex had nothing to do with right. Big production. Lex was not part so of the big, process at all until you, the end. Was it you know the was it men and women or was it just you know the you know big round bass off of SpongeBob, the nigga with the <laughs> pickles on his so, it, so was was like it was It was women in men. It was it was big Lex home girls. It was big like home girls and peoples, and then it was just some weird guys. They were really rude and just nasty, just some random guys. We don't know who they was, and we had to get naked and stuff in front of them no. because we women had to, to change naked. into different clothes to, and to um work. They, they wouldn't allow you to go to the bathroom. They couldn't they use the bathroom. They change, you so they had to get naked. Listen, yo, that's crazy. yo listen, y'all. I put my story on Instagram, right? I post when I put his mic on. In the beginning of the live, the nigga, he said, the man said, um, it's I got a hundred girls already, and I gotta cut people. And this is when mad girls were standing already outside. This is the audio that he's saying while he's inside. He's saying he already got a hundred girls. He don't need it's no theater. more. They got he, he gotta cut matter. But instead of coming out there and telling us that. He, let, he allowed us to stand out there and eat with no and water and no yeah. bathroom. Instead of being real and, and saying, hey, y'all, we, right. we overbooked. 
It's too many people. You know, it's getting too much for production. We need y'all to go. I will respect that more because you care about our feminine. You care about our health. You don't want to stand out there draining and this instead. You want to get most naked. Yeah. Who could take off the most clothes? This what it was about. So did they end up actually picking girls? Like, did a good amount of girls get chosen, or did mostly everybody? Did nobody win a damn five k? Nobody. I heard it wasn't even five k. I guess I heard it wasn't even a five k. They got three k. I had five k. I had. Wait, my whole audience. I wanted to that big next commented in today. Big Lex said she has not picked anybody yet. That I'm on her own mouth in the home. That's on Facebook. She got like 2,000 followers, I think, inside yeah. here. And she said her <laughs> She has not picked nobody. And somebody was supposed to walk well, put home that with five k in cash in their hand Sunday. But let me tell you what happened. So I was eliminated because I wasn't showing my ass and doing all that. I'm. Mm -mm. If a nigga want to see these roles, he got to see these in person, baby. He can't mm -mm. on camera, no. But anyway, so I had ended up purchasing P VIP ticket to still see it. Like, I, I'm not I'm no hey name camera. bitch. Like, you know, I still want to go support the others that, you know, I had came an acquaintance with and they, you know, they made it or whatever to the next round or whatever like that. So mm -hmm. I got back. So I got back to the event and. They was like, no phones, no recording. If you're on your phone, you're getting put out. Keep in mind, I pay for VIP. And on Eventbrite, on the, uh, you know, when you go by the pass, it says VIP all access. Y'all, she had, Big Legs went live and advertised it. She was like, oh, I got my VIP people. I got y'all bags. Don't worry about nothing. I got y'all. So we get there and VIP is treated like shit. So we trying to walk in this room that we think is VIP because, like I said, keep in mind, she had went live previously showing these pink bags that she had for everybody for, you know, for her VIP. So we try to go in the room where all the liquor and stuff at. They like, no, this is not VIP. VIP sit out there. So you mean, Tim, I need to pay a hundred and something damn dollars for a fucking ticket to come from white chairs? So what did I actually pay for? So they gave, they ended up giving us two shots. That a show that, that we participated in to get you views and money, though. They kicked people out when I when I when I got told no, y'all. When I walked out the door, the security said he said hit the fuck off the property. Well, he was kicking. This is how they talked to us though. once we we got told no and walked. They was the kicking. They was kicking people out. They, you know, they you was, didn't make it to the next round. They put you it's outside. Like they like was you, have you have to wait outside on your. You didn't make it to the next You cannot wait in the they air. They made you leave. So yes. Was, so hold on, hold on, hold on. It was that. It was and that. Listen. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What are you gonna say? It was listen. They sent in our emails. They told us they preferred us to take a Uber there. They knew that a lot of women took an Uber. So for them to tell us to get off the property, soon as we walk out the door, knowing that we had to wait for Ubers that take 10, 15 minutes, they was dead wrong for that. You see what I'm saying? Because it's people who came from all the way out of town. Where they walking to? It's people who came thousands of miles. Where are they going? They don't know where. They don't know Atlanta. So you was, you telling them to get off the property? You ain't even giving them a chance to call their Ubers, go on the app and look up their Uber and wait to go home? My Uber said 12 minutes. You know how many times I heard get off the property? Three. That's crazy. It took 12 so, minutes. I called them as soon as I got out the door. I wasn't salty. It was the way that they were talking to us. Was this, um, did, was this like, because like, I know they've done other like auditions and stuff like that before, right? Like this is not her first. I don't think so. I think her first season because I actually uh, uh, yeah, lay. We can't hear you. I assume they was doing on the show. Nah, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can see you, but can't hear you. Oh yeah. We... No, nah, it was. No, it's not. It's on mute. It's red when you talk. But, um... We um, they they actually um, like yeah, they did kick people off the property and stuff. They did they did do all of that. And like some girls, well, they was kicking people out, you know, because if you didn't make it to the next round, you had to go outside and wait. But when you get outside, it's a whole different ball game. They treat you like shit, like talking to you crazy as hell. Now keep in mind, these are men and women too. Yeah, to was crazy yeah. saying, "Get the fuck off the property! I don't care about y'all." Like many women, they had, had yeah, they had transgenders there and everything, and yep. they actually got <laughs> even though we had our family hey, so, coming up. So we had our family signing up for this stuff. 
Damn. For us to go outside and be treated, she got really treated like worse than dogs. We didn't get water out in a hot heat. We couldn't get a bathroom. We got told to get the fuck off the property once we walked out the door. Even though you had us literally putting your your now that's tv.net inside our bio you had us putting that in our bio you had us putting in our story show you all the receipts is in my in my story on hold Instagram. On, hold on, they hold on. had us doing this and then you treated us like cr trash okay so i have a good i have a question mm -hmm. though I, I and i don't that you know say i don't know like any of the answer to so do y'all think this is like a production thing right or do y'all think it's like a big lex thing it's more of a I mean, it's, no, I mean she, I still, totally she still play a role in the situation because true. she went live and advertised something that I feel like, like she played a role because role. the next day he called us liars. Instead oh, yeah. of her coming the next day and saying that she was sorry for how production treated us and sorry that we didn't get water and sorry that we didn't be able to use the bathroom and sorry that we was told to get the fuck off the property, instead of saying that, she called us liars. So oh, yeah, I'm gonna keep saying something about it because you was dead wrong. Then why would you call us liars? We're not lying. We got proof. She said she why said we that. lying about that. We're not hating on you. We got treated. We she got said treated. that on Instagram. They Instagram. talking about some oh y'all knew what y'all was signing up. For. And key here, he it's got like, jumped. It's all in my story. Every single time. key got oh. jumped during. Yeah, so what happened with the, 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 the getting jump situation? How did that? How did that take? Let you? me tell my story, okay? Yeah, let's hear it. So at the end of the day. Swat, what's his name? Sway, Swat, whatever the fuck the fat nigga name is. He told us that we gonna have. I don't know. Bass. We can't hear you. Yeah, now I can't hear. You breaking up? Nah, nah, <laughs> no. nah, nah, nah. We don't hear you. Hey, what happened? There you go. There you go. I hear you now. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm back. So, the fat dude said we gonna have a roasting tower, and I feel like at the end of the day, that's some bullshit because we all grown ass women. You can't have no roasting challenge and say no fighting. You know? Okay. But me, I'm a competitive ass person. So you tell me we gonna roast, but no fighting. Okay. I'm gonna take note of that. I don't know how to argue. But I'm gonna try because I'm I'm here to win. We're all here for a purpose. The bitch snuck me for whatever fucking reason. I guess I might have been talking my shit. I'm in the face. But if you roll back the camera, a lot of bitches was in each other's face. To be honest. But yeah, the bitch Wait, snuck me. Wait, pause real quick. Pause we real quick. That's what I was gonna ask you too. Pause real quick. Was any of was all of this like recorded? Like, can we go? Get, was was they filming any of it or anything or no? Yeah. yeah. Lay, lay, you you might have to jump um yeah, jump we, out. Yeah, you, lay, you gotta jump out and come back, back in because we, we can't hear you. Yeah, so just like exit and come back, yeah. Um but so yeah, so they wasn't they weren't filming it, only y'all was filming. Nah, nah, it was filming it they live. Just filmed the whole thing. So where is it? Can where can people yeah. like go watch this shit? It's on. It's on. Oh, you can go and subscribe. Yeah, you can pay for the subscription, but I mean, you're not gonna be able to hear anything or nothing. Like you, <laughs> they like people are mad. And they asking for their twenty dollars back. I was oh. Uh, oh, it was like bad, like production in a way. Yes, it was. It was bad video. It was bad audio. You barely could pretty hear much, anybody. Pretty much because... Go ahead. Go ahead, Key. Yeah, Key. Go ahead. Go, go, keep continue explaining what you were saying. Um, I would say it kind of was because, and then they, me and old girl, we was like the eighth competition in that challenge. Right. So other, the, it, it was big bitches, skinny bitches, tall bitches. Like they were able to get to the face, do talk that shit. They broke it up, and they chose who the winner was, who the loser was. When me and old girl were arguing, they were just ending this shit on. But at the end of the day, like, if we can fight, then let that shit be known because I can, I will fight. But you say no fighting. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to win my title. If I don't win a 5K, that's okay. But I'm still trying to get on the show. So you tell me I can't fight. I'm going to make a mental of it. But I'm going to still win this challenge. I'm talking my shit and the girl cut me. 
She just, she just she up on you and hit you. Her friend. Yeah. You don't, you don't know who I she was? Oh, I mean, shit. I mean, like you, you were just like y- y'all are just roasting each other, and she just comes up and hits you out of nowhere. Pretty yeah, much. Like, like, wait, when you say that was the challenge, what do you mean that was the challenge? It was. So first they had a twerk challenge. That was to and then they had a determine if you can compete in the hundred baddies that you know that they picked. So that was round yeah. one. And then round two, wasn't it Simon says? Simon says. And Simon so, wait, 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 wait. so first you had to win. First you had to win the twerk. Well, not win, but you had to twerk. That's what I was trying to explain yeah. earlier. No, not the win. Process. Yeah, you had to, had to twerk. And they will tell you yes right. or no. And just for, yeah, for like 20, 10 for seconds, and then they just judge yeah. you off of that. Just for twerk. Yeah, 10 seconds. Just for twerk. Some 10 seconds. Some emails, some pussy seconds. and booty, and they hate it. I'm seconds. not doing all that. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I hit a split. Ten and I hit a split. And that said, was the deciding factor naked? on if you went to the next round. And you had to wait. Yeah, you didn't some have people, to be some, naked though. Some girls had chains. Naked. Like, naked. Like, they the had girl took her titties out. On. She took her butt like, out. Wait, you didn't tell us that we was gonna have to come. You said come looking like a bad bitch, not looking like a hoe. If you wanted a stripper, just say that. Cause I'm not no stripper. I would have never wasted my time. All the bad bitches would have stayed at home. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, literally on her live, she yes. said she wanted women who got businesses and everything. She wanted women who was. And I got a college degree. I'm not a stripper. I went you know, to school. I went to college. That's what you said. On, that's what she represented exactly. on her live. She didn't say she wanted this was about to be a stripper challenge. I didn't right. know we had to do splits. One of the one of the things they had to do splits. You you couldn't do a split. That's what I'm here. And that was, was big boy. Jump for talking shit when there was a challenge. Right, that's what that's what I was gonna was we're gonna get to. So after the right. twerk thing, was that really talking? So I after the, you after the you twerk challenge, you said what Simon says. Yeah, and then it was the roasting challenge after that. All right, and so for the roasting challenge, it was like they would put they would put a girl on the stage, and then who like who would they pick that was supposed to roast her? That like yeah, me me and the girl got the same size, so every challenge that I did that was physical. They tried to match me with somebody. I'm only four what? away, you know? So that's, that's what it was. But he said, I talked to the bitch in the middle. And then the bitch was, and got that I was just like, okay. And I was like, I can't hear you, DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, break, it's breaking up. Yeah, you was breaking up when you was talking. You was breaking Very up. Bad. Oh my gosh. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so after they jumped me, they had to go because he said this is a roasting challenge. Talk your shit, but no fight. I guess I was talking about my shit. What was you? Uh, right what was you saying? Like, what was you? What was yeah, you, you saying? Like, say some crazy, crazy shit. shit. Like, I would, I would uh, think for somebody uh, to uh, pop off she like that. About my loose ass. I mean, she couldn't say nothing about my hair, my outfit, my shoes. So she said something about I had a loose ass ponytail, and I said, "Get your nigga like it." What did you say to her? What What did you say? I said, "Get your nigga like it." I'm. I said, "Your nigga like it." I'm a female, so I know this is love that nigga. I don't know you or your nigga, but if I'm roasting you, I'm gonna hit it where it hurts. Because at the end of the day, we roasting each other. So after you said so that, said, after you said that, she just hit you. No, like. No, remember you stepped up on her a little bit. You you was like you was like yeah, y'all yeah, was niggas, yeah, niggas like it, and then she was like and then that's what she yeah y'all yeah y'all was like it was like you was like and then she yeah. just we was but still yeah. but it, it, it was like this. But they could have known like she never had that challenge any fucking way. Come on now, it's yeah, like she got the bad girl. Somebody's bound to get fucking hit. Did y'all know you used to get hit? And I'm saying but, so. so oh, go, go, Jay, go, Jay. You said you got. You said you got yeah. jumped. How did you? So the way after she hit you, the, the who else jumped in? Like, was these people that was her friends or? Yeah, that was her friend. Yep. Her friends jumped. There. Her friend was there, and her they scooped they scooped her, and then her friend grabbed her and then started punching on her and beating wow. her. So and they was automatically eliminated after that. From the back, she, she didn't. 
she didn't even know. Like the, the security was like right That's there, the so she didn't even know Shorty was about to jump on her. It was like from the back type situation. Oh, she snuck she up. Just, she snuck up phone. Her comment. I got her comment. Her comment said, "Well, that's I, my I should be girl. bleeding. I should. My face should be fucked up right now. Well, bro, she jumped you. You have not bumped all that shit. Like y'all some weak ass hoes because you can't mm -hmm. take words and you want to be on the re reality. Oh, they calling us forty. They calling us forty eight snitches right now. They're, They're calling us forty eight snitches. So it is what it is. You said forty eight. You it's said forty eight snitches. Telling how people got treated. Oh, they saying y'all snitching. Yeah, like, yeah, they saying we snitching. This is what the girls are saying in the group. Oh, y'all, uh, first forty-eight snitches, or whatever, because we want to, we want to expose first of all how women was treated. That's not no okay treatment. You just said you were about to go all around the country. You about to treat every bitch like that. Y'all gonna have this is how it's gonna be. They're not gonna get water and stuff. Well, they need to know right. what they're gonna go for then. So they can if that's the case. Up, they get nice Period. You need to know what's going to happen. Be ready. Be ready to not to drink mm -hmm. your water. Make sure you wear some sneakers. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? You just need to know what you up for. It is what it is. Why is y'all mad for me telling the truth? They so mad. They reporting my TikToks. They reporting my Instagram. They is so upset because I'm telling the truth. I'm not yeah. lying on this girl. Who, who's who's they? I got all the receipts. Like, yeah, who's, like, who's they? Like, other, other girls that was there. The girls that made the final 16. And then, you know, like, different fans of Big Lick. Like, it's Big yeah, me. Yeah. Kick me. I'm ready to look for pussy. Like, yeah, because I can't. I can't say specifically who because it doesn't really tell right, you right, right. the person. You see what I'm saying? It don't really tell you. But I see them on my live talking junk flex though. Big flex. I see them on there talking mad junk for, for her. So I know it got to be y'all because y'all the only ones on my live talking junk talking about. Y'all well, knew what I was getting into. That is not what okay, was advertised. That's, that's cool. not what was portrayed. You can, but, but, like, she cured, but she this is not what it's about. Though. I keep, I'm going to keep reiterating it. It's not about we knew what we was going for. Because even dogs get treated with respect. Even people, you know what I'm saying? You have to give people their minimum respect. Water, I'm not saying they needed to be, oh, walk us in, give us the red carpet treatment. I'm not saying none of that. But at the least, we could have had some water. At the least, we should have been able to change in the bathroom and they have to get naked in front of somebody. They that we didn't outside. know. They at the least, we should have been able to change. Right. We, sh we should have been able to see Sukiyani and Rooney and everybody perform afterwards. We shouldn't have got oh, kicked out true. if we were the ones who was giving oh, you money. Yeah, it was our yeah. so, so what's up with on that? your show that Wait, made I paid come. for VIP and I was there to see Sukiyana, uh, Rennie, Rennie Luch, and um, Asian the Brat perform as well, right? So a crowd. Uh, okay, so you got the left side of the stage and the right side of the stage. She got seats on each side. So over here on the right side, there's some girls mm -hmm. that don't even fucking mm -hmm. know each other. They start you talking did. shit to each other in the <laughs> audience because um, Big Lex was just on stage, her and Fetty, and she was like, who got these hands for Fetty? And Fetty like, who want these hands? Who want these hands? You know, like, trying to, like, boost up or something. Yeah. So that probably boosted up they, you know, boosted up they head or whatever, or whatever the case may be. And they started fighting. Like, they started fighting, like, so bad. Like, they rearranged the whole right side of the fucking room. So oh, after who that, started, they, who, everybody got it. Who started fighting at that point? This is a separate oh, fight. I don't, this is a whole separate two, fight? These are two people who paid for, two, two women that paid, paid for VIP, and they began fighting because they were talking shit to each other. Because keep in mind, Big Legs went live and said, if you don't want to compete in the Baddie Olympics, that's cool. You can still come to the VIP and talk to her and show her that you're a bad bitch and show her why you should be on her show. So I'm guessing, you know, some some people in the audience took that as in, okay, well, let me beat this bitch ass so that she can see, okay, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to come in the house and fight and be in her ass that, you know, got can, something. Can I just say so something? Yeah, go, ahead. Yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. ahead. Can I just say something? Okay. I pay for VIP too. And I expected VIP treatment. Treatment. And let me just explain to y'all how the setup was once once you got inside. Mm -hmm. So, like like you said, they had the two sides or whatever of of seats for people to sit in that was VIP. But literally, uh, fifty feet away, not even fifty, probably like thirty feet away, is the production of the whole thing where they're filming. So it's not like no VIP treatment. We're literally on the set. Oh, watching yeah. everything go on, so it's like 
chaos everywhere. Cause you know, they making it seem like being a bad bitch is being ratchet, showing your pussy right. and all that shit. Literally as I'm sitting there in VIP and I'm just kind of watching this chaos, I'm like, yo, this is nothing like I expected. Yeah. You know, I had so much higher expectations mm -hmm. for everything. So I'm seeing them and they start doing fucking pussy checks. Pussy what the, hell, what is that? The, the women are lined up. Wait, what is it? Let me let me explain. The women are lined up. There obviously there's cameras and everything in the same spot. And then us VIP people are right next to them. And I think it was Huckleberry. She like, let me see what y'all pussy hand like or whatever. Bitches start pulling their legs up. I'm like, I was supposed really to be part of this and I didn't get through. So I'm looking and I'm like, if I would have made it through and I would have been in line and I see them doing some fucking pussy check, check. I would have got the fuck on. Because that's <laughs> nothing with what I signed pussy up check. for. And that's not being a bad bitch. Y'all got this weird ass stereotypical bullshit trying to call it a but bad also bitch. Real, the way that she ex that's all I wanted to say. Right. The that way part. that she explained on her live what she wanted as a baddie, what she explained what she wanted is not what they picked at the end you see what i'm saying they yeah. really wanted people who was going to be the rawest and do the the, the the whatever they told them you see because once y'all see once y'all talk to the other girls who was there the ones who got chosen you're gonna see that their story is you're gonna see that they gonna cooperate some of the things some of us did not get water some of them did get chose to get water some of them did get chose to use the bathroom and that was the ones they was picking that's why they at the end of the 10. that's why they just top the, the 10 who's saying well i didn't get that treatment of course they came out security came outside and was pulling people out like oh you i want you mm -hmm. but yeah. others it's, it's girls it's other girls who's standing in line for hours That's how that how is that fair a treatment okay. yeah, how wow. they, pick, they, they picked the top final 10 or final final 15. Final 15. You think they were pre picked, you say? Oh, like, final 15? Oh, I thought it was only 10. I'm they, sorry. I didn't they, know they was didn't. 10. Okay, so when the fight had broke out when we was in VIP, like they hadn't even got, they hadn't even finished the games yet. Like it was still, it was still. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was so much games. chaos everywhere. Like so wait, it didn't me, even come out. I'm a, I'm a, my bad. I'm a little confused. So, like, did, because you said, y'all were saying, like, y'all were outside in the line. When the whole water incident happened, and mm -hmm. that was before that was before the games even started, right? right? Yes, mm -hmm. that, yeah. So, I'm talking yeah, about so, I'm talking about my experience from VIP. Now I'm not right. talking about my so experience. So let me ask you this: yeah. was, well, I was she went on. I got kicked out from okay, the first time. So all right, boy. I think that's the, the, out of all y'all, who stayed the who was there the longest? I think it was um Key. It might have been me. Key. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Even uh, though Ben was trying to fucking jump. <laughs> gotcha. So let me ask you this. I'm now. sorry, so like, y'all. I'm gonna keep bringing it up because this shit. Y'all basically man. saying that by the time, by the time it even got to VIP, they had already picked basically who they who they was gonna use. Like they already yeah. picked. Yeah, some, some some of the girls. Cause some of the girls. Um, I know one girl. Like like I like she said. You know, like Lovey said that all of us were standing outside, and one girl. She I remember her coming up, and she like, um, why do I got to twerk? I don't have to twerk because. <laughs> The producer told me himself that I'm already picked to be on the show to compete in the Olympics. And you want to know what she did? She did not twerk, and they walked her right on to the back. That was yeah. not fair. That's what I'm saying. It was all a scam. Like nothing that it they seems like made they it seem like it was going to be with that. The rest of for like for footage, just to get you know like footage that they're probably going to use. Basically, and shit, hold on, know. hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so you trying to tell me that? Yeah, we got even, we got used for followers. footage. Our father was paid for VIP from our family. No, hold on. We got yeah, we got VIP. We didn't get to see any audience followers from I got, our I got it. and our friends that made us it on our story. They told us we could not. So wait, everyone, everyone that participated paid some type of money. Like you had to pay some type of money to, to do it. No, you didn't VIP? have to. Just for you didn't have to because I, I, like I said, she went live and said that you know. No, they, but they, you're they, going they, to um, be on TV. You're gonna get yeah, your yeah, hair done, your nails done, your feet done, you're like, gonna buy new clothes. You know what I'm saying? It's basic. Um, like for just to participate, you didn't have to pay. No, you didn't have to pay to participate. Yeah, you didn't have to, but she said that you know, mm -hmm. if you did, that's another way that you could show her that you're a baddie and you can talk to her and show her that you're right. a baddie and you should be picked for the show. So that's the only reason why I bought a VIP ticket. How much was VIP? VIP? It was one hundred dollars. One hundred. Plus tax. With tax and 
we didn't see no artists perform. And like I said, they kicked us all out yeah. because two other girls on the other side decided that they wanted to fight. So they just kicked oh, everybody out, even so VIP. That, that was the official excuse they used for kicking y'all out was the fight. Pretty yeah. much. Because like when they, they insinuated the they whole fight, they could have fucking ended the shit. Things, but they started, yeah, yeah, facts, yeah, yeah. And also, let me they just say, they could have ended the shit when the bitch jumped. And Big Lex said oh, herself <laughs> that the people in VIP could chill with her. She specifically yes, said this on her live. That is not you feel me? She got the video. The video's on her page. When she was promoting it. She said all VIP baddies, y'all gonna be chilling with me. We're gonna be going out. We're gonna after the party. We're gonna go to the strip club. We're gonna go to the club. <laughs> right. She said all this. Yeah, yeah. they was really they all was this. really talking a good game. And they y'all. kicked us out the door once we lost and told us to get the fuck off the property. All that shit was cap. They played us. Okay, so so that's that's honestly, make her. She said, "Have your mama, your daddy, your cousin sign up." Why would you want my mama and my daddy to me shake my ass? Oh, they. they- and show my titties in my wait. The people, um, why would you want my mom and my daddy? There? No, but people had their, their their supporters paying to see them to watch so them to even TV. view the whole Big event, you had to pay $20 because yeah. it was oh, a live okay, 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 right? Damn, that's so crazy. that's why they made it. That's why they said it's a requirement to put the link in your bio or you're your not going to be on the yeah. show. And one you know of the one of the girls that made it to the final 15, like I remember her coming out on stage because they had like a twerk contest. I guess, you know, when they were trying to figure out what their next game was going to be because they was basically going along as they went. Like they had yeah. to stop and be like, okay, well, what next game we going to play? Because they didn't have it. They didn't have it all together. They didn't have it lined up. And one girl, they had a twerk contest and she came out. She's in one of the final 15. This bitch was naked. I'm talking about titties out and everything on stage. Everything. This is not what this. So so okay. So 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 my question. Mm -hmm. My question is so. People got kicked out before they even could show their face on the the TV. Like like they didn't even get to participate in nothing. Yeah. It was like oh I don't like you. You're out. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to explain too because. We re- okay, yes. once you sent in your audition yes. tape, you received an email that said you were pre-selected to be on Baddies Olympics. Yeah. So oh, that's why everyone's right. telling their supporters and their fans and their family, pay the $20 to see us on live. But when we get there, we got to do 10-second twerk to see if we even going to be on the show. But wait a minute, I just told all my fucking fan base to pay $20 to see me, and I'm not even going to be on there. Yeah. They should have specified that shit, yeah. but they was trying to finesse so fucking hard Damn. that they just... You know, saying whatever. You you. Just, so you had to like, so before you even was it given the address or wherever the location. Yeah, yeah my own girl just said Big Lex is going pulling my phone if you want me to. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, she said go she down, was going live tonight going to live talk and, about you know, it. I don't, I don't know. Got you, got you. But let me um, but let me ask you. So like, um, so basically, um, before you even uh got there, or no, no, that's not asking. So. Like to participate, you had to send in a video of yourself yeah. doing like an audition tape, and then mm-hmm. they then they selected you, then they gave you the address and where to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So when yeah. we get there, we're thinking happened. we're already automatically on Batty Olympics, but you're not. Right. Yeah. Damn, you gotta yeah, do a they, 10 they second twerk to a random ass yeah. song to get to the I next thought round. it was a hundred baddies. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they, they made mad I thought it was 100 bad. They did. Yeah. They finessed the fuck out of everybody. But, but, to be honest, like, I don't want it to be seeming like you're lying on here. Because the paper did say, be considered. <laughs> and they put it in red, big red bold letters. Because I don't want them to say, oh, y'all, that was the clue. Like, they literally said, be considered. But Hello. us listening to Big Flex Hello. gave us a Hello. whole, a Big Flex yeah. gave us a whole different ideal in yeah. mind. You feel me? Like what you said, and when I got there, it was not the same, Nothing. man. I don't like, care what so, nobody said. Yeah, I mean, from from what I seen, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my review about what happened when I went. Yeah, yeah. From what I seen, when I seen everything, I'm thinking everybody's gonna be there, and it's like gonna be an actual contest, and yeah. whoever goes there is gonna be in like some kind of contest. I seen there was a lot of females, so I'm like, yeah. so I'm like, okay, they probably gonna be doing like. Quick contest, like real fast, to where you know what I'm saying, and maybe whatever they catch, you know what I'm saying, they'll switch scenes, and yeah, not like everybody's gonna like, be on TV. She's live right now. Oh, she's live right now. Yeah. Oh snap. 
I got my other phone. Yeah, she said go before see. anybody gets to run in their mouth, stop playing with her. Girl, right. play. Get the fuck on, girl. Like. I, I, okay, I really well, let me okay, well, I don't want to listen to that then. Me, if that's all she's going to say, is huh? she not about to be real? Hold on. Who no. said Big Lux. Big, I really Big thought Flex that she was going to be on some she like said authentic shit, but she just was Big. on some other shit, for real. You fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you don't fuck with me, me too. Me. I really thought is she, she was trying to get on. This is what I thought. I'm going to be honest. When I was watching her I, I assumed that the big, like she was trying to get the women who used to be like in the hood and stuff and got themselves together and stuff and wanted to show the women who was baddies, but still, you know, they was from the hood, but they came up. I'm thinking that's her, like, she's trying to show women trying to better themselves. That's what I, I that's did what not I thought. expect I can't cap. that. I ain't gonna cap. That's what I, so, that's what I thought when, when she was talking, you know what I'm saying, doing the whole baddies thing. And that's honestly from what she gave off yeah what she gave off and what i seen uh, from you know what i'm saying some of the girls that i seen was getting on there stuff like that from what i seen that's what they was on you know what i mean like a lot of them have businesses college exactly. degrees you know what i'm saying better in herself yeah. things like that so she 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 on live like trying to clear her name but it's 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 Girl, not it's her like she played a role in it true enough but yeah that's not what people are mad about people are mad because the people she hired, her security and production of now, they, they treated women the fuck. They was putting their hands on women. Like, ain't nobody trying to down legs. Like, I'm confused on where she's getting that from. Ain't nobody downing her. We're not even talking about her. She, yeah, she had a role, true enough. Yeah, she did have a role in the, right. in the situation, but that's not what people are mad about. People are mad at the, the security and how right. they treated the yeah. women. Yeah. The so, hey key, them. hey, key, real quick. The uh, the whoever yeah. whoever uh, I guess like why fought we, you or why jumped you. Why can't we go? Why, 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 why we go? Why we being called snitches? Hold on, hold on. Do do you know who they are now? Like afterwards, with it like flossing and saying, like saying, "Oh, I I beat your ass" or this, that, and the other. Like like, do you? I mean, I mean, yeah, the little teeny ninety pound bitch talking shit from the group. From the group, she got a whoops on me. But at the end day, it was a challenge on Facebook. And you folded because you hit me. And he said, if you hit, if you fight, you're going home. Oh, so, so she's gone. She didn't hit. get on the show or nothing. Like, she's out of there. She out of there. But I want her on there because I want my round, too. <laughs> bitch, you snuck me over some roasting, a roasting challenge? Okay, bitch. Let's square the fuck up. Okay? And then we're going to see who the baddest bitch is then. Fuck. She got me fucked up. Yeah, that is fucked up. Just, just over a roasting battle, battle. But why? Why do you have a roasting challenge and say don't fight? We some grown ass women. How does that All make you a bad bitch if you can roast? How does it make you a bad bitch if you can twerk for ten seconds and show your I titties? Roast. And don't. I can't talk shit. I just did it because of the challenge. I can't talk shit. Who can? Who can talk shit? I can back my shit up, but I, I don't know a lot of females that can talk shit and and be able to whoop some bitches like that. If you can talk shit or you can whoop ass, I don't know somebody that can do both. So the roasting shit that was lame as fuck to me. I ain't gonna lie. It was. It, it should have been like a boxing challenge. So, okay, so so if y'all were to talk to let's Yo, say before, let's say let's before we get off. Uh -huh. Listen, can I say something before go ahead, go ahead. we get off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to say, listen to you. Listen, listen real quick. My whole thing is, I, I, I died, y'all. I really was feeling big Lex, and I was really going for what they chopped too, up and screwed up on the TV, okay? I was not, my point of giving my review she was not she out, okay? Me. My it whole echoed, point was to, to, for her to see how we were treated during our experience. You feel what I'm saying? But then when I, the next day when I got up, and I seen that she called us liars. That's when I got pissed. Exactly. That's when I said, "Okay, since I'm a liar, then we gonna we about to put all this out here and show what the what it really is." Then. Exactly. And we gonna show the facts. Right. And now they're upset because we showing facts. And I'm not trying to bring you down. I just wanted you to do better. Yeah. No, I, Especially I, if you about to go across right. state and you want our black women to do uh, prosper and all this other stuff that you that you want. How you gonna how you gonna have us have no Show up at 10 30 we don't got no food we standing out there for three hours we still ain't get no food when we got in we it's people who was expected to be there to a left could have at least had them some sandwiches yeah. something the production didn't nah, I feel you, you got women who was who were literally sweating doing acrobats damn 
Nah, I, I, I feel you on that. And I, I definitely would be hot myself. But one quick question I have is, like, so aside from, aside from like, the 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 fifteen finalists, if there was, they were picked already, which I guess y'all saying that they weren't picked. Like, do y'all feel like majority of the girls that were there, like, majority of them was not feeling it? Like, everybody saying they not feeling it, this whole situation? No, I'm not saying they weren't picked. They said they were picked. Oh, they were picked? Okay. So, okay, aside from the 15 that were picked, do you, like, is majority of... I, 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 oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Except from the... So everybody's, like, yes, not feeling yes. the whole situation. The whole thing. Yes. That's what majority of them saying. Yeah. It's just like. Hey, yeah. so let me ask you yes. this. Right people now, who's DMing me and saying, so I'm glad you wasn't no clout sure. chaser and wasn't trying to get on her show and expose it for what it really was. It's really women who was out there and thinking what we went through because that's messed up. Let me ask you this, though. Let me it's ask the truth. It's messed up. People could feel they was done wrong. It's not no problem with us. It's how we feel about how we was treated. <laughs> Let me ask you this though, because she's on um she's on live right now and she's basically she definitely is. I seen it. Yeah, she basically it saying like, like, like whatever challenges that went down, whether it be the twerk contest it. or whatever. Um, any girls that did felt like they didn't want to do it, you wasn't obligated to do it. And she's basically though. saying like, like the bitch that jumped me. If you can't take the hit, get out the fucking kitchen. Okay. Right. So, I'm so, sorry. but them, that's what I'm saying. Do y'all do y'all at least agree <laughs> with what she's? Hold on, let me finish with what, what you say. Hold on, finish saying what I you say. Do. So I can I do with her. You I can Okay, do. so let me let me finish what I'm saying. So, do you agree at least with what she's saying that like, because it seems what she's saying what? is, if you even didn't, if there was a challenge that came up that you didn't want to do, you could have showed you as a bad bitch by <laughs> by doing something else, but still basically showing out or you know sticking out of the crowd. You get what I'm saying? What she's saying. So, do you agree with that? Do you feel like? Okay, can I talk first? Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead, yeah. And then, yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. From, from what I have in my in my story on Instagram, I'm going to tell you. But, so, none of that. You break They you're already up. knew they had too many girls. They was, It don't matter if you would have brought your personality. It don't matter if you would have did something different. The man said on the microphone that he had to cut these people because he got 100 girls already. So what is she talking about? Damn. She's lying. She's a liar. But I feel like let she's me, just trying like to say this because we, saying, we was right? done wrong. Period. Then, that nigga knew already. Let me give you. I'm, I and he should have said So I can't, can't. You know what I'm saying? But My, what she's like, saying is, it's people who is okay. Let's talk about it then. Let's talk about poverty and the, what people would do. When they in poverty and they need help and they know that 5K is on the line and they know that they're going to better themselves, you going to sit up here and tell me women who really trying to get that bag not going to do what they got to do to get it? Right, but I think that's what she's saying is that like... That's what we saying? I think that's what she's saying is that like you... I feel she just doesn't like the complaining about the games and whatnot because she feels like if you was really that desperate to get on or do what you got to... Because like y'all said, there was some girls that were straight up getting naked. For it, you know what I'm saying? So I guess what she's saying is like if you wasn't even willing to go a certain it's way, about her on Jocelyn's show. What about her on Jocelyn's I show? I don't know, so you feel me. You said the same thing. You said the same thing. No, I'm talking, I'm talking about how what she was talking about with how Jocelyn did them wrong and stuff. You had an opportunity to leave. You didn't have to do what you didn't want to do if she was treating you like that, but you still stay. Why? Because there's opportunities out there. Some people are in the gutter and they're trying to do better with themselves. It was 5,000 K on the line. If I go to a judge, he's going to say you misrepresented what you put out there. Out your own mouth. I don't care what you, how you feel about what women shouldn't have did. Okay, let's scratch out. Oh, women, if you felt some type of way and you shouldn't have been, okay, let's, everything that we did during or whatever. What about the treatment, Big Lex? What about us not getting no water? I feel like what maybe about us not being able to part of it feels like all of that. What about them like, telling us to get the fuck off the property? I feel like all of that. What about them telling us that we couldn't stay out? To kind of test and, and push people's buttons to see, like, who would put up with it and who wouldn't type. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Like the water shit? That's what I was no, saying. No, everything. You mean like, everything? Like not just the water shit. I'm yeah, talking about like... Yes, I, I feel like that too. Yeah, I but feel like they knew is, all of that shit. We should like, be able to express how we were treated while there. That's all I'm saying. 
But you know what? That's the all I'm saying. Crazy thing That's all I'm saying. Is that in if, the if end, I can review what what happened. That's all I want. I don't know. I feel like, like I said, I feel like the whole thing was like she orchestrated that shit because she wanted to see like who would put up with it or whatever. And you know, and then you know, and on top of that, at the end of the day, y'all, even movie? the girls that didn't win or didn't make it's it far, not- talking about it is helping them. You get what I'm saying? Because it's getting attention. <laughs> and I feel like she goes all that. You get what I'm saying? Kind of like a calculated move. Yeah, like you know, a real calculated move type shit. But it, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? But I don't know, but like you said, the thing that I that I feel like if it feels calculated, then it's okay. Yeah. What are you saying, Jay? I, well, I was gonna say I just feel like it's like um, it's 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 interesting. Like y'all said, you know, like what she said was that, or what she considered her definition of baddies and what she wanted versus what she actually ended up picking and yeah. what she actually wanted out of you know. I feel like that's where she kind of went wrong. She shouldn't have done all of that. Like she should have at least been honest about what she was looking for. You know what I mean? Like, right. And that I wanted to speak on that real quick. Go ahead. I just was gonna say. At first, I didn't think Big Lex had anything to do with it because she wasn't there. But then I thought about the situation, and I'm just like, well, the fact that she's not even here means she just don't give a fuck. Mm. It's so just she that. Wasn't there? Simple- yeah. No, she wasn't true. there the whole time until until the performances with Asian Doll. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I also wanted to say too. Honestly, I probably feel like she probably did have a good vision because I th- I thought the whole thing was brilliant. You know what I'm saying? You could really make some bread off of Batty right. Olympics and you really you know, having that shit be I at a certain it. standard. Right. But somebody had got in her ear. Right. I feel like maybe it was somebody off of production or yeah. maybe the CEO of Now That's TV. Somebody got in her, her ear and made it seem like the only way you really going to make bread right. or have views if you be on some ratchet shit with these hoes and this fuck these hoes yeah so possible. i feel like that's where everything got misconstrued somewhere in between allegedly what one allegedly, thing because one thing we don't know that it just doesn't make said. sense to me because what, so allegedly, one was nothing like what was going on it was you. nothing like that one, so one, that's why everything was just off um, big lex did see our complaints because i have it in my story where oh, she watched too. the story so she did watch my story so she know that we had complaints of of what happened right Right. So um she did not re- um she she didn't reply and she did not apologize about how they treated us but her, her one of the, the girls did say that why would she apologize after we started talking shit but we started talking shit after she called us a liar I gave my review I ain't say I ain't really say too much about her really I was saying how well, production and them treated us I said, that was you know it was really still like a junkie production it was a janky yeah. production. I have yeah. the right to say that. It was. Yeah. They were creepy. The men were creepy. They were. That's why like, why I got to say, say, why I got to be like, oh, I don't want to talk about that because that's big flex. That's big flex. So I'm not going to say nothing. No, I'm not no pussy. Why would you want women with, with strong attitudes to come pull up and think they're not going to say nothing after being felt like they got treated like trash? Like I said, bitch, I got me a whole, I got a nice ass whip. I do not, I did not have to stand on the side like a piece of trash instead of being able to jump in my whip and go home. Instead, you telling me to get the fuck off the property and I have to go over there somewhere and try to call my Uber. It makes no sense that you want these so-called baddies to pull up, but treat us like that. That's my point. Damn, That's bro. all I'm saying. It's not really out. Oh, the the competition and what we have to do. And what about the treatment of how security and how about these ladies who were standing outside for three right. hours? About these women who drove thousands of miles, who talked, took planes, who bought Ubers, who co- who had hotels, all this money, who had people sign up. What about them? The the the, the, the one little decent thing that we could have got is was able to sit. Go inside and afterwards and be be able to watch the show. That bitch looked it empty. Okay. Well, it was like it why was would you want a concert with a whole bunch of, with only a whole bunch of empty? They made everybody leave that? after that last fight. So many of they, us. They, after that last fight, um, right before um the artists was about to come out and perform, they kicked everybody out. So yeah, it was gonna be empty because it was only the twenty girls that was left. She said it was twenty girls, not fifteen. So all the twenty girls that was left. And probably like some people that came with them, and oh, and people oh, that had okay. the pink passes on. Um, those are well, the only people that got to stay. But I just feel that that wasn't fair because I paid for VIP. I need to 
if you're not gonna give me no refund then i need to see what i paid for and i did not see what i paid for it damn and i can and, go pay and her whole thing in the is somewhere the women VIP who, and it comes with a bottle and everything like what did you get any of that did you get any right no, I, right. I told y'all we only had VIP only got two shots. We only got two shots for a hundred dollars for a hundred and some dollars. So that's letting people know, okay, well, you did buy VIP ticket, so that does mean you fuck with her some type of way because ain't nobody finna buy no VI, damn VIP tickets. I don't care if it was fifty dollars, ain't nobody finna spend their money if they don't like somebody. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, so I actually fuck with her. So, me, yeah, and this my, is, that, that's the thing I wanted to ask y'all. Um, specifically prior to this event, like before all this happened on Sunday, were all of you like real actual like fans of, of like Big Lex and her career and everything? Yeah. Like, have you been following her since the Jocelyn days and all that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. I was a fan. I'm still a fan. Like I'm not mad at her. It's Absolutely. The people that she hired. Like I don't have no beef with her. How can I get mad at her? She didn't say anything to me. She didn't yeah. say, oh, well, you need to get the fuck out the front. You know, she didn't. How yeah. can I be mad at her? I can't be mad at her if she didn't say anything. Yeah, facts. Okay. Yeah. I do yeah. feel like she did take a part in. Listen, I'm not my thing is. I mean, I can't just be mad at her. Got you, got you. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. My yeah. reasoning for saying. Go ahead. And she, I expected just an apology. And my thing was I, calling me a liar when I have all this proof. That's where you fucked up at. Don't don't get on your story and say don't believe the lies. The girlies had fun. Yes, the girlies who had fun were the women who, the 20 people who won. These are the women who was coming on my live talking about, well, I got bottles of water. Well, I got to use the bathroom. Well, darling. Yeah, I wonder you. if, you know, because you, you think remember too, that she just didn't, because a little bit of y'all got this. Some of them was already pre until, She didn't pull some, up until the Some of them was already pre even so tell that, her about all the stuff that happened. Maybe she doesn't know every single thing, you get what I'm saying, that went down when y'all was like, before she got there. Yeah, I mean, but that's why she posted on her story to tell her experience so that she B read the story. somebody close to her could she read the story. And Big Lex looked at the story and she still didn't say anything. I think it's just more of so like, damn, can you at least hear me out? Like, yeah. you know, how you treated me. So, you know, next time you know what you need to do or who you need to hire because, you know, why are you treating people like this that you don't even know? And gotcha, gotcha. we're trying to come on your show because we are fans of you. We don't give a fuck about nobody else. Damn. Yeah, y'all are also yeah, mm -hmm. like her. You guys are trying to advance your careers and do what you mm -hmm. got to do to, you know, what I'm saying to 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 get further in what you're trying to do. And she she right. seemed like she was trying to give y'all an opportunity, but I guess it wasn't really a genuine opportunity. Um, I just feel like it wasn't a fair opportunity. Fair, right, 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 right. No, it, it was a chance. If they had to explained it in the email, or either she would have went live and let everybody know. Okay, well, you know, just because you got an email saying that you're pre-selected, you still have to go to one little challenge first and then that determines if you get to compete in the olympics or not but gotcha. no nobody said that so we all walking into something that we didn't know like me i had on a dress like i had on a you know like a nice dress like i'm gonna go to brunch or something yeah you all looking cute or whatever so i wasn't prepared to twerk i didn't think that i was gonna twerk right at least not yet yeah. i mean you know I at least thought you know what well, she did say bring a change of clothes so I'm thinking, you know, once we change our clothes, then that's when you know we can get to twerking and doing all this and that. So, real quick, before we before we close it out, let me ask y'all this: you know, like individually, y'all can answer. Well, you know, each y'all gets like, knowing with the experience that you had, right? Would you, would you, or you, your friends, anyone you know, would you do it again? And if you did, would you, would you, or would it just be a dub? Or would you do it Hell differently? No. Would, you, would you like learn? <laughs> you do it again? <laughs> Got you. I would not have wasted my time, baby. Or my money. All right. Or and my supporters' for, money. I would not have wasted about, none of my time. people's time. Absolutely. absolutely. I ask okay. yeah. absolutely, absolutely not. I would have <laughs> sat home and I would have watched the live. I would have just sat home and watched the live. And then I would have stayed the live was janky as hell. I wouldn't even pay back. I would have okay. did it again, me? but I would have hit that bitch first. <laughs> okay. That's what the fuck would have happened. Me yeah. personally, Go ahead. this is my first time doing something like this. I wouldn't do it again unless I got 
exactly clarification and an actual rundown of exactly what's going to be going right, on right. so I know what I'm getting okay. myself into to see if I still will proceed or not. Let, like, you know, let it be my decision if I want to, you know, proceed right. or not. Okay. Right. Got you. Respect. And Definitely. Right. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Right. Got Me you. too. But I still would have stole off on that bitch first. I don't, I don't, I don't blame you, man. And, and, and I, I don't know if the production or Big Lex or not us TV apologized to y'all. That's messed up. That if they didn't, if, if they didn't. Went that. What the fuck? But you know what I'm saying? For me, I, it's it, it's sorry to see that y'all had to go through that for you know what I'm saying something thank that, you for, that. Thank you for you at least apologizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like to, to see that y'all had to thank go you. through something like that. I mean, I know some of y'all travel. Uh, from different yeah, states I mean, and and to go through that is is like pretty bad. So, especially uh, with somebody through someone that you like respect or someone that you like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You, like I said, we were real fans. And, and y'all, yeah. sorry, a big I was period, he coming so. back. I was nah, listening good, to her live because she's definitely live right now. We don't want to kill. You know, we don't want to. We don't want to take the rest of y'all night. So, other yeah. than that, we, we good at this. So don't talk to y'all. I'm ladies, uh, definitely want to hear from y'all in the future. If y'all don't mind, you know, we, we do our show like every week. So we'll definitely reach mm -hmm. out to y'all. If y'all ever you can help us out and be on there, we talk about a lot of stuff and we would love to hear about, you know, the other experiences that you guys have had. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Thank you thank for you. talking I'm gonna get, to I'm us. Get, I'm get, I didn't write none of y'all Instagrams down, but I'll, I'll get them from Star. I know she probably yeah. has all your Instagrams and um. I go from there. I appreciate okay. y'all jumping in and joining. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was nice meeting y'all. Good night. Good night.